Hi YouTube, I went to Daiso over the weekend on Friday night and I also returned something to Joann's and some, not Joann's, I returned something to Michael's and I returned something to Hobby Lobby. I had some duplicate stamps that I had bought <clears throat> so I went and returned them and just picked up other stuff um, without paying any any more money. It, it was all a wash um, and I except for I went to Hobby Lobby twice on Saturday but the first set of stuff I got made it a wash for what I bought but then when I went back later on when I met some friends for dinner I picked up a couple of other things so uh, first I'll show you what I got at Daiso and I got this tape right here and I, it's a ribbon tape um, and it has all of these pretty sparkly colors in it and it was a dollar fifty and I got a bag over there I got this tape it was also a dollar fifty and I'll use it in my Bible journaling or my planner I got this washi tape which I hadn't seen before and uh, Daiso's washi tape kind of looks like the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree washi has way more tape on it than this. So that's what this one looks like. And I got this washi tape. Those were the only two washi tapes that I got. And then I got these three pens. And they have uh, three or four different colors. Let's see, they got black, red, green, and blue. And it's three of them in here. So I picked up those. Uh, I also picked up this stapler. I seen a girl use it. Um, the little traveler's notebooks that I made, if you saw my um, Bible journaling and I did a flip through through my traveler's notebook that I do scripture writing in, a while back I saw a girl on YouTube making some and she said that she bought this stapler from Daiso. And if you can see, it swings a different way, making it easier to, um, to staple, you know, in a booklet because it swings to the side. And it was only $1.50. And so... Um, I didn't have a, a Daiso in my area at that time, but now that we got a Daiso and it's like kind of far out, but me and my friend, we go to Crab on Friday night sometime at this uh, casino, and so it was out in that area, <clears throat> so I picked this stapler up at the Daiso, it's inside of a mall, and I picked it up there, and I was really happy to find it, because that's what I went there for. So I was really happy to find it. So I ended up getting two. So I got this one. And, <clears throat> and I also picked up a blue one. Let's see. I think the blue one is, the blue one's open. Let's see if I can figure out how to make it swing. Um, oh, there it is. So it swings that way. So you can go on the, oh, sorry. It swings so you can go on the inside of a paper. You can staple from this, this side. So um, <clears throat> it has a little, let's see. It has to staple things both ways. You can staple this way or you can staple that way. So I thought that was just a really neat. This makes it a regular staple. But if you swing it around, this makes it easier to staple in those books that I make. So I was really happy uh, with that find. So just put that back in there. So I got that. And I've never seen black glue sticks. <laughs> but I thought they were interesting. So I got some to try them out. Um, I got some paper that I will cut up and put in my planner or either put in my Bible journaling. And these are some of the pictures. Uh, sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can find a piece of paper that will stop the glare. Let's see. Um, but those are some of the papers in there. I also got these papers. And um, I really liked it, the these papers 
and these are they're really thin those pattern papers but I figured I would use some ATG or something like that on them and these were all $1.50 and then I got this and this is a textured one and it has all these different colors in the texture so I'll use those and I got some nail clippers my husband likes me to clip his nails so I got some nail clippers to clip my husband's nails and then I got these to for jewelry making or some I'm, I'm thinking about making some uh, I have pom-pom makers and I'm thinking about making some big puffy pom-poms for you know for a tie or your backpack or something like that so <clears throat> I picked up two of those and how many they have 30 each I also picked up these stickers and you can color them and so I'll color them with my markers on my ink tense pencils or something like that and they also I don't know if you can tell but they have like a sparkle on them some type of little um, sparkle uh, on them like right up in here and stuff so they sparkle so they're really cute and I also picked this up from Daiso and it's for um, clay rolling but I'll use it for scraping paint or rolling out some paint in my traveler's notebooks and stuff that I I like to prep my pages before I write on them so that's all I got from Daiso and what I, I returned some stamps at Hobby Lobby and this is what I picked up <laughs> excuse me in its place I picked up this um, neon color acrylic paints that I'll use in my Bible journaling and these are all the colors that came in there and it was $7.99 but um, I got $6.48 back and I used a 40% off coupon to buy this and then along with the money that I got back I purchased this and then I wasn't sure if the stapler had any staples or if it took regular size staples so when I was in Hobby Lobby I saw these staples and it has three different size staples some really big ones some regular ones and some small ones and the small ones will fit in there so it and I did open that one up and it does have a couple of staples in there but um, at Daiso they didn't have any more small staples that you could buy separately so that's what I got at Hobby Lobby the first time that I went and then with the stamps that I returned from Michaels because they were a duplicate <clears throat> I purchased um, these stickers and when I returned my stuff at Michaels um, he rung up all my stuff I had 50% off coupon he took that off the highest price item which was this it was $4.99 and it's a planner stamp and so I got this I got this and I also got this, which was in the Valentine's section, and it was already 60% off. So with the stamps that I returned, I think I got back $7 and something for the stamps. He ended up giving me back $1.41 after I made my return and these purchases. I still got money back, so <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. And I also went to... Um, Tuesday morning because I buy my mom these gourmet mints that they have in there she really really likes so I always go in there and buy some and keep them in my car until I either go to her town or she comes to my town we live about 50 miles away from each other <clears throat> so in Tuesday morning I got that from my mom and I also picked up these stamps and I picked up this sticker set mark the story but I'll cut this up and use it in my planner for trees or forest or you know if the Bible talks about deers or something like that I'll put this cut it up and use it in my planner I mean in, not in my planner but in my Bible journaling and then I saw these little eyes that I thought was cute and they can go for Satan or evil or whatever so I picked those up and they were 99 cents and then I saw this fabric tape and it's by Maya Road. It's Maya Road fabric tape. It was 99 cents and they had three of them. So I picked up all three of them. 
but this is what it looks like out of the package it's just fabric tape it's adhesive on one side and this fabric on the other side and what I did with it was I took my Tim Holtz distress stain let's see if I can find the little one I took this distress stain right here and it got purple on it but that's from a different package because it's the pink one and then I took a stamp from another thing and I stamped on it so that's what I plan on doing with it either just stamping on it or writing on it and using it in my planner or using it in um, my Bible journaling so um, I tested it out to see if it would do what I wanted it to do and it works perfect and then the only other thing I got I got um, at when I went back the second time to um, Hobby Lobby I picked up this black basket and I wanted this black basket to sit on my desk because it houses my stamps um, my, my Bible journaling stamp all, mostly all of these are just uh, for Bible journaling or just for like making background pages because some of them are like flowers and different stuff like that for making background pages and then I have a bunch of stencils that came with some different stamps and stuff from Michael so I have quite a few of those so I'll stencil some pages and then I also have in here my stamp cleaner so I'll set that on my desk after I get it cleaned off because it's a hot mess right now <laughs> and um, the other thing that I got at Hobby Lobby forgive my desk it's a mess is this black spinning container that I plan on keeping my blocks, um, uh, ink pads, um, pencils, my little stickers, and my pens and pencils that I write in. I haven't finished putting all my pens and pencils in here, but um, Hobby Lobby was having a sale on all their um, they were having a sale on all of their organizational items and they were 50% off and that was by the paper studio so this is by the paper studio I have another one on my desk that I got from Michaels a long time ago and it was $40 too but I used a coupon on it and this was $39.99 the new one that I got and I used a coupon on it it was $20 and the black basket was um, $8 but it was half off too because it was considered organizational so um, I got both of those um, for $25, a little bit over $25. And so um, they'll help me in the mornings when I come in here before I start work because I work from home. So before I start work, I can come in here and have all my Bible journey and supplies, all my stamps and everything, and I don't have to um, flip through other stuff to find my stuff to um, get started in my Bible journey and start my morning out with the Lord. So that's all I got. That's all I have for you. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So have an awesome and an amazing day. God bless.